Welcome back to one more semester of the Beaumont Bulletin. There's some sort of stomach bug going around campus, so please stay healthy out there. This, this desk was sanitized, right? <coughs> uh, um, anyway, I have some important news today. We have two new permanent hosts to introduce. Please say hello to Sophie and Elizabeth. Okay, now get out of here. We'll see you later. It's my turn to host right now. And joining me today as a guest host is Danny. You better not outshine me or I will outshine your face. Oh. Now let's read these headlines. Tuesday, January 14th, a Delta airplane carrying 167 people made an emergency landing in Los Angeles, dropping jet fuel over homes playgrounds, and schools. Jet fuel can't melt steel beams, but it can melt people. A Michigan state senator allegedly told a female reporter that schoolboys, quote, could have a lot of fun with her, later apologizing for the misunderstanding. You see, he meant that they should play Fortnite and she should try out the new birthday suit skin. Nominations for the 92nd Academy Awards were revealed on Monday. In addition to this, for the second year in a row, there will be no host at the ceremony. That might be a good thing considering the movie with the most nominations is Joker. Earlier this month, emails were found that showed Boeing employees mocking Flight Max 737 safety, stating it was, quote, designed by clowns. And as long as that plane doesn't smoke as much as Joaquin Phoenix, I'll ride in it. An Instagram model raised over $700,000 to help stop the fires in Australia by promising to send anyone who donated money a naked photo. This is further proof that its tits really are the answer to any problem. France has recently been taken by storm by the novel Le Consentement, which details the accounts of sexual harassment and pedophilia involving beloved French author Gabriel Matzneff. One woman described his behavior to be like an ogre. Now, the term ogre might seem a tad unrealistic, but don't really have to peel back any layers to see what we're getting at. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi made some strong remarks against the social media site Facebook, calling it shameful and misleading the American people. Here at the Beaumont Bulletin, we'd like to thank Nancy for being such a big fan of our videos. The New York Times recently reported that one job that could be replaced by robots is headline writing. Now don't worry about us, we don't get paid anyway. <laughs> Microsoft pledges to remove from the atmosphere all the cartoon it has ever all Microsoft pledges to remove from the atmosphere all the carbon it has ever emitted. Oh yeah, and I'm going to magically cure all the people I've ever given SIs to. A team at Stanford University has gotten closer to creating a robot with bird-like flight, hoping to achieve a robot with flying abilities superior to an aircraft. Well, sorry Stanford, the government has already been manufacturing birds for years. <laughs> That's all the headlines we have for today. How did I do? You did not shine me. Well, I thought. Well, that's our show for tonight. Thank you for watching. I'm going to go uh, get out of here before she uh, realizes. Hi guys, thanks so much for watching the Beaumont Bulletin. If you want to see more, check out our newest videos here, our best videos here, and subscribe here. Um, I hope you like them. I think they're good. <laughs> <laughs>